Now we will teach you how to set up a roasting profile and how to save it. First of all, make sure it is set to manual mode. After that, open your laptop and open Artisan. On Artisan, on the left, you can see the sliders where you can align the crumb, the fan and the set volume. Let's set the set volume, for example, to 162. 162. It will show 162 on the right PID as well. Once those have been set, we can start the roasting. Hit the fan on and the drum on button on Artisan. Also press them on the manual pad. They have started, now we can ignite the burner. It has been ignited now. Now, when you, you can see on the PID, when the bin temperature reaches the set volume, the buzzer will give you a voice. Now that the bin temperature has reached the set volume, which is 162, as I said earlier, we can drop the beans into the drum. First, press drop on Artisan, then manually push this in. The beans are now dropping into the drum and the roasting has started. Now we are in the roasting phase. The beans have been charged into the drum and are now roasting inside there. On the artisan software, you can make notes on when does the first track start, when does it end, or the second track, and you can save that for future reference. Also, you can align the gas volume by using this knob here. Once you have reached your roasting profile, press cooler and cool the fan here. Press the drop button on artisan. And then manually you can drop the beam. Now both the roasting and the cooling has been finished. In order to save your roasting profile, go to files on Artisan and click save. Or you can otherwise click the off button and it will give you the save option as well. Now we have learned how to create a roasting profile. In the next video we will learn how to use that.